Now we are going to discuss about support vector machine algorithm and it is also one of the most popular supervised machine learning algorithms which is used for classification as well as regression problems. Primarily it is used for classification problems only. Now what is the goal of this SVM? It is actually to create the best line or we can say the decision boundary. that can segregate the indimensional space into classes so that we can easily put the new data in front of the correct category in future. The best decision or the boundary is actually called a hyperplane. Next, if I draw just a diagram like this, let's say this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. This is a feature of data and this is another feature of data. Now if I draw a margin like this, then this is actually called the margin and these points from which the distance is actually calculated of this margin, points are called support vectors. Okay, and this is the margin which has been created of the vectors. Next, if you want to understand that how exactly this support vector machine works, then actually we have a past labeled data. And with that actually we train our model. Then, let's say that here some kind of working goes on and a prediction is generated when any particular new data is feeded. And resultant to that an output is generated. So this is how the model actually works. Let's say we have the past label data of cat and dog, then model training is done, then several prediction is done, and then it is going to predict that either it is a cat or it is a dog. Now we are going to discuss about how many types of SBM are actually there. So SBM is basically of two types. And the first type which we have is linear SVM and the second type which we have is nonlinear. Now what is the difference between two? Linear SVM is used for linearly separable data. Whereas this nonlinear SVM is actually used for nonlinearly separate data. Now, what does this actually mean? Linearly separable and nonlinearly separable. So, linearly separable data, which means that if a data set can be classified into two classes by using a single straight line as we have done in the previous example also that it can be classified. Then such data is termed as linearly separable data and the classifier is called as SVM classifier. We can say linear SVM classifier. And 
non linear is such a data which means a data set cannot be classified using a straight line then such data is termed as non linear data and the classifier is said to be a non linear svm classifier these are the two types of data how it done and more precisely if we say like this this is a particular x and y plane which we have made then if just only one line you can separate this portion and this portion of the data then it comes under linear svm and if you cannot do like this then what you have to do like you have to build a particular plane and then you have to actually separate it on the basis of some plane which is there so that comes under non linear separable data next we are going to discuss about kernel in svm that what do we mean by kernel so kernel in svm so far we have seen what is linearly separable data that means data is separated by a straight line suppose we have a data which is not linearly separable then what do we do in such cases there we use this kernel function now what it happens is let's say this is the data which we previously used of x and y and this is a low dimensional space and here are a few data let's say here are now this data is not linearly separable then what happens when we use that kernel function exactly is that there generates one more axis along with x and y that is the z plane now when the z plane is actually generated what happens is like this is the data which you had of the red dots in this particular functionality here arises a plane okay now this plane actually separates the data space of increased dimension after the transformation and this data is separated here like this so kernel function it converts the data of low dimension to high dimension support vector machine draws a hyperplane in the n dimension space such that it maximizes the margin between the classification group the margin is been maximized of those data which are not linearly separable also i want to discuss you about a few tuning methods which we will use when we will do the exam that is regularization and gamma now firstly i will show you about the high regularization let's say we have this particular axis x in y and it has several data points like this and now if i draw the particular plane which is separating both the data points so it actually generates a zigzag line so this is called high regularization or c regularization is denoted by c so it is actually the case of overfitting only when you are training everything that machine precisely and it is just cramming up all the data so this kind of regularization line is generated whereas low regularization what will be just a simple line drawn without checking the classes or the features which are there so that terms up to be low regularization when there is a simple line drawn this is for low next we come for gamma so gamma is also classified into two things the high gamma and the low gamma so in high gamma what happens is similar to like this all the distance have been calculated of the data points like this we can say that these are the few and these are also few features of a class 
now if i draw it like this and we calculate the distance of a few data points so this is actually the case of high gamma whereas in low gamma what happens is just a simple straight line is being drawn this is for low gamma and line and the distance has been checked for low gamma and high gamma both this will be implement while we will be doing an example so this is all about svm the theory of svm and next we will do in the practical experimentation in our upcoming video